This lesson is to show how to take away a larger number from a smaller number. So for example, if I had I'm supposed to be in black, there's a Giants game tonight, but if I had 5 minus 7 and I'm trying to figure out what that difference is, my intuition says it's negative because I'm taking away more than I have. But to really see what's happening here, I want to visualize my 5 positive with my 7 negative. And the idea is that one by one, the positives and the negatives wipe each other out. You know, in a certain respect, if you had 5 minus 5, you'd get 0. But we have two more negatives. We have an excess of, of two negatives. So the answer is negative 2. But the deal here is that the difference between how much positive I have and how much negative I have, I have two more negatives, that difference tells me the size of this answer. So my first intuition is that it's negative, that's correct, but then the size of the number is the difference of the, of the two numbers, with the biggest one minus the smallest one. So let me do that with a, with a more complicated example. So let's say we have, again, here with the, the orange, sorry, 72 minus 165. So again, my intuition is that it's negative, but I have to figure out how much bigger 165 is than 72 to see how big this negative number is. So I literally find the difference of those two numbers. 2 from 5 is 3, 7 from 16 is 9. And so putting together these two things, that my answer is negative, and the difference is 93, I see that 72 minus 165 is negative 93. One more example with some fractions. Let's say I had 1 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 5 eighths. Once again, I'm taking away more than I have, and so the difference, you know, the the answer is negative, but I have to see how much bigger is 2 and 5 eighths than 1 and 3 quarters. What is the difference between 2 and 5 eighths and 1 and 3 quarters? So as I start to look at this, 5 eighths one, two, three, four, five, and here's three quarters. one, two, three, and I've got another issue now because I'm taking away three quarters. I want to adjust the size of this from five eighths, and three quarters is bigger than five eighths. So now I have to get into the idea of borrowing. So I have plenty. I have two and five eighths now. And so I borrow one whole, one whole, is equal to 8 eighths. So altogether now I've got 1 and 13 eighths. And let me just draw real quickly the one hole that I've borrowed from the holes and added it to the eighths. Eighths. And so now I've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 eighths minus. 6 eighths, 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths, and 13 minus 6, 13 take away 6, leaves me with 7 eighths, and 1 from 1 is nothing. So the difference between 2 and 5 eighths and 1 and 3 fourths is 7 eighths. So now I know the answer to 1 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 5 eighths 
it's negative 7 eighths.